Hello everybody and welcome back to Banny's Mill. Some of you perhaps saw the last episode where we made a significant advancement because we got cotton coming in. So we're building an extra tailor or an extra additional, you know what I mean. We're building a second tailor. So we will have one tailor over here making actual clothing and this one will be full-time converting boom pardon me cotton into cloth this one will be turning cloth into coats but for right now we're gonna put it on uh, We'll use up those six linen that we have left, so we'll do that. We also built a uh, glass maker, so we are currently getting sand here. Uh, there are a number of things, even early game, that require glass, so we want to have the capability to build that. One of the big things we had talked about um, was getting the essentially the town hall what how do you not have a home okay i guess we need another house uh, but we talked about putting in a lighthouse which i do think i'm going to put down here it just feels right uh it's a little bit early in the game for that but I, I do think it will work out and be cool. Potato seeds. Okay, so this is tough because we don't really have things to trade yet. Uh, we do have a fair bit of cotton that we just brought in, which is maybe here. Yeah, 400 cotton. Once we get enough extra cloth, that's probably a deal that we want to make. But I don't know that we have... I mean, we already have broccoli coming in. I'm, I would be more willing to do something... I'm, sacrificial is not the word, right word, but... I would be more willing to give up something if it was like to get... Sheep so we could get wool, or cows so we could start getting beef and leather in. For just potatoes, I mean, our health is really not that bad with the local variety we have. Just don't think that it's worthwhile at this stage. We're gonna go ahead and collect up dead wood that we have laying around here. And you know what, I, I just, I feel like I wanna go ahead and put in this lighthouse. Just because it, it feels like the right thing that I want to do. Uh, so we're going to have... Uh, we're going to be short on stone. And we need to convert over some copper. And we don't have glass yet. Uh, but everything else we should have. Uh, I'm just going to place it so I don't change my mind. And then we will pause it, and we will give them a road. Uh, do I want to come straight out here? Or do I want to maybe... I think I'm going to go to here, and then up to the trader's road. And I think I might do another one off of that trader. <coughs> So we'll come out of the market to here, and then we'll come up to the trader from there. And I know we we do have some people, some extra people, so we're going to go ahead and use this like that, and we'll put in a nice big stockpile there. And while we have some extra workers, let's go ahead and put one person in the glass maker for a little while. Not a, lot, a long time. 
we'll do that for a little while. We'll get some of this stuff coming in. They're going to get all these trees, so there'll be a bunch from that as well. And we'll go ahead and have them collect that stone. Help us meet our stone requirements. We're already converting a bunch of cloth. The linen is gone, so we can switch that over to making cloth. And it should be, yeah, we'll keep it at 50 for a little bit longer. Tools are already bumped. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to making some more iron tools. It's probably about foundry time. Uh, foundry. We need the charcoal burner first. So we'll put the charcoal kiln in here and we'll put the foundry in probably there. Uh, it should build that first. Good deal. Uh, I want to get Let's see, we had talked about, this is going to be downtown, I think I might go ahead and start putting in some farming down here. I at least want to get one or two, uh, let's do... like 24 by 12 sounds nice uh, we just want to get a couple pasture fields up and running so that when we when they finally bring us animals oh that's just a skosh off well these pl these fields are not going to stay here so this is going to become housing and fields can go down here uh, because we'll have housing probably down in this part and they'll they'll work here all right uh, this is not getting chopped down with quite as much gusto as i anticipated let's check our housing situation ba, 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 good. But we made we made some glass. Okay, great. We'll go ahead and open that up, and we can actually. I bet that some of this isn't happening because we have so many other jobs. All right, we're at 50 tools. Let's go ahead and switch over and make some copper. Pretty sure that's only going to make nine copper. How much did we need for this? 16. Okay, I think there's some in here. I shouldn't say I think. I know that there's some. I know there's some in here. Uh, collect. What am I? What am I doing wrong here? My brain is like I do this a million times a minute. Gather. There it is. Gosh. Collect the copper. Oh, that's already marked because it's okay. Never mind. Never mind. There's a bunch up here too. So how's our food? Is it just under nine thousand? That's good. Tools are at forty. Clothes at forty-five. Got six laborers. We do not have a church and cemetery yet. We could do church here, cemetery back here. That would keep everybody happy. But the cemetery by the industrial. Not the worst idea ever, to be honest. Um, I never do this one anymore because I always do the stone chapel would be kind of fun to do this one on this save. It also happens to slot in here perfectly. You know what? 
I'm gonna do it. And then we want to go off of, we'll give them one space there and do a cemetery about like that. <clears throat> The only problem, I might regret this because I wanted to put the clay pit here, right? Because we have clay pit. Oh, that fits. I could put it all the way over here. Do I want to do the clay pit down here and then put the brickworks here? That kind of feels right. How far down can I get it? Right there. Then we'll put the brick. I guess we could do it that way. Down here at the end of the street. Like that. Okay. Industrial center is good to go. 10,000 food. We'll go back to making iron tools. Build another house. Everything is moving along. Quite nice, like. We hit our clothes. Love that. Still have 57 cloth. Love that. We didn't get these built. I don't love that. But we only have four extra workers. What is our... It's weird. When you play on 10x for a while, playing on 5x just feels so slow. But it's really not. This is a great speed to play on. Especially the bigger things get, the more unwieldy it gets. Uh, I am kind of curious to put more... Oh, can I... Okay, I'm not going to actually build this right now. But I am curious if I can... Okay... That'll be so centrally located for when the city expands. We could even probably put a bridge between the two. Tell me that works. Tell me I can put a bridge in there. have the stone to do it but is this the one that has I guess it's only colonial charter um, colonial charter has this option where you can build three pieces to a bridge which is so awesome you can do like the left side the middle and the right side and it just looks cool Oh yeah, we don't actually we don't actually want to build this yet. Just that's gonna be this is gonna be cool. We're gonna make this like a little a little hub. A little hub of commerce, trade. Let's see who moves in here while the season changes. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh. Was that premature? It's not really. I mean, there's... We 
have an 11 year old, 13 year old. Not that crazy. Hopefully that they, they get a family in there. Okay, this is not built yet. Boy, it is it has taken some time to get this area cleared. I sometimes I do things like that thinking from the last save, you know. At, at the end of the last save, I had a workforce of 70 people just sitting around with nothing to do. So I would mark a, a, an area to be cleared like that and it'd be done in five minutes. Uh, that's just not the case right now. Ooh, we, then we could make flour, we could get bread going. We just don't have enough industrial goods yet for this to work. I don't think. I hate to give up grain seeds, though. Grain's good because you can make flour. I'm dismiss it for right now. These people are going to be absolutely sick of broccoli. Okay. Well, that's where all the stone has gone. Everything else is going to go fast. Then we're going to be able to get our stats. That's, that's going to be fun. Oh, man. Look at this bison herd here. That'll be a lot of meat and leather. Okay. We got a odd mix of family there. Three dudes just hanging out. Which is fine. No judgment. Just saying. Okay. I'm going to shut you down. Because we have plenty of glass. And we probably have a decent amount of extra sand at this point. So I think I'm going to shut you down as well. So you guys can help with these other projects. I'm going to put another worker on building. Stone is low. Well, that happens. We don't have a stone mine. But at this stage of the game, collecting it like this is the better way. You get the stone mine once you have extra labor. Okay. Alrighty. Well, things are looking pretty good. Here. Oh, a lot of food in there. Extra food up here. That's good. Let's get this iron in as well. Okay, we're doing good on tools, so let's switch that guy over. Just now telling me that iron is low. I understand. So we have a barn here. We have our starting cart here, and we have a barn here. They're cranking out cloth. They're cranking out clothes. Okay. We're looking pretty good. We got our stone met here. They're bringing the glass and the firewood over, and they can build the lighthouse. And then we can keep track of our vital stats more easily to continue with the build. Put some flax there. I know we don't need it, but you know. Banished OG is going to do what he's going to do. Actually, I don't know if I can consider myself an OG because I started later on. Um, I remember watching a content creator named One Last Midnight. I don't even know if he still makes videos. I'm pretty sure that's who it was. He did a challenge for other creators. 
And the challenge was, I'm pretty sure it was Colonial Charter. And I remember just being like, this is the coolest thing ever. Just the coolest ever. Oh man, look at all this extra stuff. Why'd you drop it all here? There's room. Interesting. Uh, but he, he made this challenge, and I thought, wow, it's, it's historical, and it's like this resource management game that looked fun. I'm in. <laughs> that was what I thought. Oh, they're starting construction. Let's watch. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da That's funny. It really looked like the deer were coming to build this building. Can we peek down the road here? Are they on their way? Are you coming, builders? I know. I know it's foolish. It's foolish to build it all the way down there. Look, these streets are going to be sweet. I should probably put that street in. The only reason I didn't do it when I built the houses was because I didn't want the builders to... Yeah, I'm not going to do it right now. Why did I put two spaces here, I wonder? Well, that'll be a, a wider street. It's just such a peaceful game when you get down in it. Just watch, look at all this stuff. I mean, you can, like, tell what this stuff is berries and broccoli and fish <laughs> probably strawberries I don't know what that is what, what would we think that would be well, maybe that's flax that looks like that one fish is easy this, I bet that's broccoli looks like that but I don't recognize that at all. Maybe if we go to the barn, we recognize something that looks like that. Mm, no, the onions and mushrooms are in a basket. Hmm. That looks like cranberries. Nope, none of it here. Anyways, let's go watch the... I, I just hit the sprint key, if anybody... Oh, look at that. Got a middle stage. We're at 78. I love that this game has stages of building. Not quite as granular as like Manor Lords is, but we're talking about a seven year difference in game development time. Looks like the builder took a lunch break on 82%. Well, we're getting there. Oh, there they come. Yep. Oh, that, that was it? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Nope. Oh. So she came out here, hit the thing a few times. Oh, they killed all the bison. Look at that. Well, that's curious. So when I did mark all, it went ahead, they went ahead and killed the bison that were in the area, even though they weren't marked for hunting. I mean, it makes sense that they would do that. I just didn't know they would do that on their own. Come on, guys. Just stay. Just stay and finish it. 86%. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I, I realize I could just put more people on the project. I do. I do know that. Oh, look at that. I think that's wild oats. So I think if you gather food, it, it picks it up. Gather. Why am I having problems with this today? 
Gather food. Food. Wild food. There's another one right there. Okay, they have officially... I've lost my patience with that, waiting for that. All right, now. This, okay. On the corner, okay, this is a big question. Should I set up the big houses here? Like, should I set up these guys? The, the three-story boom, boom, boom. Because I could do... I could do an outside facing, like put them like this, and then this, and then this, and then do another street this way, or even down here. Or I could do more of these. Because remember, we have to talk strategy here. The goal of this series is not just to, you know, populate the map, it's to hit a thousand. We are at 40 people right now. 43 people right now. We need way, way, way more people. If I do... So one thing I could do is make, make like city blocks. Like do a city block and a city block. Oof. That feels serious though. And then on the corners, I could put in some of these genuine corner businesses that he has in, like an extra school, a bakery, a tavern. Oh, man. That feels very cool to me. But stone, we do not have the stone to do that. We're not making brick yet. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why I rushed to clear this, because we're not really ready to develop that yet. We still have all these houses to put in, and we're going to have another two streets worth here. So, that was a little overzealous on my part. But it does remind me I need to do this. And let's check and see if our lighthouse is built. 96 97 it's the walk I mean it but once it's built it's it's done it's we don't need to do this anymore um, it's interesting how it fits here on the edge I mean, would you build a lighthouse on a river potentially no is it still cool anyways definitely yes okay let's see it let's see it let's see it They're going to make us wait. One more swing of the hammer. Let's go. And this is 5x. Can you imagine waiting if it was on 1x? Just insane. Uh, and yes, I do recognize that the food is, is dipping a little low. Uh, but I also encourage you to remember that we're only talking about 40 people. So 7,000 extra food with 40 people is almost two years worth of extra. And we can still, we can still, oh, a fisherman died of old age. Old age already, we're only in year 11. Oh, okay. I, this, I was like, I'm going to conclude the episode after we get to look at the vital stats on this. And it's just not happening. All right. So let's look over here. It is kind of weird that I have that spun around. Uh, peas. Again, same answer. We have other sources of food. Our health is fine. I do want to do this, but we have to wait until our economy is really humming. So I'm going to say no thank you right now. Let's go ahead and collect food there. Collect food. Well, we have the gatherers out there. I'm going to have to move that force mode soon. 
and it's still not done. I'm just simply impatient at this point. All right, well, I think you guys have a pretty good sense of where where we're headed, uh, how things are going here in this series. Uh, we need stone. That's not exactly where we're headed, but it is a major concern that we have at this juncture. The other major concern is that hiccup we just <laughs> experienced there. I think I'm going to put uh, a mine right here, even though it's... Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, let's do it. Stone mine. Coming in. Coming right up. Iron rock. Right there. And we're going to put in a road. A nice double road right there. These are going to get moved soon. Soon. They're going to come down here. We're going to put some houses along here. It's going to be lovely. This is good that we're getting those up. So hopefully they'll bring us some animals soon. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Appreciate your support on the channel. Bye for now.